Welcome back to our channel, where we explore the wonders of the universe. In today's exciting episode, we delve into a groundbreaking discovery made by an international team of astrophysicists. They may have just uncovered a new method of stellar destruction. Stay tuned as we unravel the mysteries of this extraordinary event. An international team of astrophysicists studying a gamma ray burst, GRB May, may have found a new way to destroy stars. While most gamma ray bursts, GURBs, are made by exploding massive stars or neutron star mergers, GRB 191019 appears to have originated from the collision of stars or stellar remnants near a supermassive black hole in the core of an ancient galaxy. This finding questions our understanding of stellar deaths and offers a glimpse into the complexity of our universe. The study findings, spearheaded by Radboud University in the Netherlands and involving astronomers from Northwestern University, were recently published on June 22 in the esteemed scientific journal Nature Astronomy. Northwestern astrophysicists Wen Fei Fong and Giacomo Fragione co authored this groundbreaking work. Scientist one, Wen Fei Fong, for every hundred events that fit into the traditional classification scheme of gamma ray bursts, there is at least one oddball that throws us for a loop. Scientist two, Giacomo Fragione, the discovery of these extraordinary phenomena within dense stellar systems especially those encircling supermassive black holes at the cores of galaxies, is undeniably exciting. This remarkable finding shows a previously unseen way of star destruction and GRB generation, shedding light on the secrets of unusual space events. As astronomers continue to explore the vast reaches of our universe, these extraordinary events help us understand the complexity and diversity of cosmic phenomena. Ancient galaxies, no longer active in star formation, contain cores filled with stars and dense stellar remnants like white dwarfs, neutron stars, and black holes. Scientists have long speculated that the strong gravitational environment surrounding a supermassive black hole could lead to stellar collisions and the production of GRBs. However, evidence supporting this theory has remained elusive until now. In October 2019, NASA's Neil Girel Swift Observatory detected a brief flash of gamma rays that lasted slightly over a minute, marking the occurrence of GRB 191019A. The subsequent long-term observations made with the Gemini South Telescope in Chile gave vital information about the fading afterglow of the burst. Surprisingly, no evidence of a supernova, which usually accompanies long GURBs, was found in the captured light. Stars usually meet their end through one of three predictable pathways based on their mass. Low-mass stars like the Sun shed their upper layers and become white dwarfs while more massive stars explode as supernovae, leaving behind neutron stars or black holes. The third possibility involves binary systems made by stellar remnants colliding. However, the new study shows the existence of a fourth option. The study team's findings suggest that stars can meet their demise in the densest regions of the universe, where collisions can occur. This discovery not only enhances our understanding of stellar deaths, but also raises questions about possible sources of detectable gravitational waves on Earth. As we continue to explore the densest regions of our universe, this remarkable discovery challenges existing expectations regarding long geobs and their association with ancient inactive galaxies. The event in the core of the ancient galaxy introduces new possibilities for studying the formation of rarely observed binary systems. Similar events may occur regularly in densely populated regions throughout the universe, but have gone unnoticed. 